Hey, what's up, guys? The Bolly Commander here, bring you guys another bombastic Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 commentary. And this is another episode of Now and Before. And if you aren't familiar with the series, well, in these episodes, I tell you guys what did I think about the game when I first played it after a few months or after a few years of the release, and what do I think about the game at the moment. So, let's not waste any time, let's just get started. So, Modern Warfare 3, it's probably, at the moment, it is my least favorite Call of Duty game out there. But, uh, what did I think about the game when I first played it? Well, when I got the disc of Modern Warfare 3, I was actually super excited, because at those times, Modern Warfare 2 was my favorite Call of Duty. Even though I was bored of Modern Warfare 2, it was still my favorite Call of Duty out there. So, I couldn't wait to see what Infinity Ward has done with their next Call of Duty game. And so I installed Modern Warfare 3, I, I played it for a few hours, and I wasn't super impressed, and I also wasn't uh, super disappointed, I mean, it was okay, it was just another Call of Duty game, nothing really fancy, nothing really uh, super cool, and also nothing super disappointing, so it was just a decent Call of Duty game in my opinion. And uh, I did have fun with Modern Warfare 3 for a few months, but even though the game wasn't super fancy, I was still addicted to it. You may ask why, but the answer is actually very simple. It's Call of Duty. It's very addicting. And uh, I remember myself back then just going home from school, turning on the computer and playing Modern Warfare 3 for 3 hours straight. I mean, that's how much I was addicted to this game. I didn't really think of uh, gameplay, I didn't really think of uh, the graphics, I didn't really uh, care for anything else rather than Call of Duty those times. So I was super addicted to Modern Warfare 3 and I did have fun with it for at least 6 months. But then something happened that I stopped liking Modern Warfare 3. I mean, there were multiple reasons for that, the major one being overpowered shit. I finally discovered that there are tons of overpowered weapons in Modern Warfare 3. FMG9 being the most overpowered one, everybody knows that Akimbo FMG9s are just extremely OP. And uh, people are still using these guns, and that just pisses me the fuck off. And actually, that was what killed Modern Warfare 3 for me. I mean, overpowered shit, corner campers, and uh, the immature community just... Just, uh, I couldn't take it anymore. The game was fucked up and that's why I took a break from Modern Warfare 3 for a few weeks or actually even more actually more than a month I guess and uh, after coming back from Modern Warfare 3 I kinda didn't like the game that much anymore and uh, I stopped playing it that often I was I was playing Black Ops more I was playing other Call of Duties and I was playing Battlefield and uh, I was enjoying other games rather than Modern Warfare 3 and uh, I literally hated the game. I was blaming developers for all of this bullshitness. And I still think that it's Infinity Ward's fault that this game is kind of broken. I still think this game is broken. And uh, yes, yeah, just Modern Warfare 3 just is dead for me at the moment. I mean, I have probably never hated the game so much like I hated Modern Warfare 3 uh, back in the days. And uh, now let's move on to what I think about Modern Warfare 3 at the moment. Well, I I don't hate the game nearly as much as I hated it uh, about a year ago. Uh, I mean, the game is still fucked up, that's for sure. But I don't hate it as much as I hated a year ago. Uh, uh, and uh, to be honest, I actually had fun in Modern Warfare 3 today. I mean... I went into a team deathmatch lobby and uh, played a few matches and I had fun with a few of, uh, with a few of them and I made a, and I actually made one conclusion about Modern Warfare 3 which is it gives pure Call of Duty experience and it's very fun when there are no noobs in the in the lobby I mean people don't use FMG9s people don't camp I mean when the community is mature enough not to use uh, bullshitness that this game offers, the game is actually pretty fun. I mean, I don't have fun in every Modern Warfare 3 game, but I do have fun in some of them. I mean, I might be playing Modern Warfare 3 for a few hours with friends online, but I don't really know if I'll keep playing Modern Warfare 3 myself when I can play Counter-Strike or Black Ops instead. 
Anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video, and if you did, make sure to give this video a like, share this video with your friends, and subscribe for more amazing Call of Duty and Counter-Strike videos. And by the way, only four days left until Call of Duty goes, so I'm super excited, and yeah. But at the end of the video, I just want to give quick shout out to Pookie HD. He makes some decent videos, and he's got some pretty good series on his channel. Pretty unique, actually, and I think his uniqueness deserves some more views. Anyway, guys, go check out Pookie HD. His link will be down below in the description. But I'm signing out. I'll see you all later. Peace.